YouTubers. This is Cindy, Palm Springs Cindy, and I'm back in Palm Springs. And in fact, I'm back in my master bathroom where I like to film because I have my two little lamps here and you can see the reflection of them in the picture behind me, I'm afraid tonight, but that's okay. Uh, I wanted to film mostly to tell you guys that uh, I have to, I want to tell you a few things about my trip home and then what happened to me when I arrived in my home once I got to Palm Springs. So I, first of all, you know this is the, the season, the last few weeks of the floods, the flooding, the hurricanes, the damage, the fear, the wetness, the news coverage, all about the hurricanes. And so, um, you know, I've been watching that. I'm sure as many of you have been watching that and very concerned about the people that are in the middle of all that um, carnage. So I, I started driving home from Ketchum and I kind of had a little, you know, I'll spend the night here and then I'll get up the next morning and I'll drive so long and I'll spend the night there, made some reservations, I have my little dog Shelby with me. And so when I got on the road, when I was like four hours into my trip, there was a lot of road work in the middle. In the middle of nowhere, there's the kind of road work where they're slurrying the road and, you know, uh, putting new blacktop on the road. So they would have one lane closed and then, you know, you'd sit for a while, then that lane would open and it was hotter than it could be. And so it was kind of a, it, and there was, because lanes were closed and we had to sit and wait, there was, and because it was a three day weekend, there was a lot of traffic. And I didn't notice it until the uh, the next day when I was driving and I was the only person on the road. And then I remembered, you know, that was part of the roughness of the travel day. My first travel day was all the traffic plus the road work. Well, along with that, we had these, you know, when I was driving, I could, as I was looking into, you know, into, in the front of me, to the left and to the right of me, I could see dark clouds and I could see where it was storming, like way over there or way over there. But gradually the storm came on me. And so I was driving and this was after the road work. And so I was like driving my 60 miles an hour and the red, it was like the clouds just opened up and water, a deluge of water just came down upon our cars. I could, I mean, my windshield wipers could not go fast enough. I could not see out of my front window. Plus, on top of that, I had these big rigs going back and forth like in the other lane and then their water spray would get would like spray on my car and I really could see nothing going 60 miles an hour. So anyway, I finally got to my destination and we got out. It was still pouring down rain. We got into our hotel room, um, slept that night, not a deep sleep because it was thunder and lightning and I was thinking about my road, my trip the next day. So I slept in, I asked for extra time, you know, could, could I check out an hour later? They said yes. So then the next day I was on the road and sure enough, it was, uh, you know, more and more rain. And the streets were, um, were just uh, full of rocks and, and, and sand and the wind was blowing and the rain was crazy. So after driving about three, three and a half hours, I stopped in a place called Prim. And that's where they have, they have two casinos there. It's still in Nevada. So I ended up staying at this casino and uh, they were pet friendly, thank goodness. So I had a kind of a crazy night at the casino. There was a flood right outside my hotel room door. I was on the bottom floor, right? I was like the first room when you walk down the hall leaving the casino area. It's a giant flood, nobody noticed it. I had to call it in, finally they came and you know put uh, those orange cones around it and everything. And then I went to, um, I was, I got Shelby settled. I got myself settled into the room and then I, I left my room and I went, um, <laughs> I, 
I went to the, uh, con the registration section and I said, can you direct me to like a bar where I can order a drink and have a bar snack? And so they said, yeah, go over to the tree area or whatever. So I went over there. Well, lo and behold, I could get a drink, but no food, no bar snacks other than a hot dog. Well, I did not want a hot dog. So I sat at the bar. I had, I had one drink and they had this little uh, poker machine. So it was a quarter, so I put a couple quarters in. Well, lo and behold, I got four aces right away, and I won $21, so I was thrilled. So I took that money, and I went over to, there was a little Mexican stand, and I had some, uh, um, like, oh, I had a bean and rice burrito. So, okay, then I had, that was my dinner. So then I thought, well, um, shoot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try playing something else. So I ended up playing, uh, this is the funny part. I ended up, I, I thought the only thing I know how to play is uh, poker or uh, 21. So I went to this 21 table and, the, and I, there were two guys on it. One guy here, one guy here. So I sat down in the middle and it's like a semi-circle uh, table. And then the dealer was standing in the middle of the back of the table. So I said they had chips. I'm, I'm not a casino person. I'm not a gambler. So I, I'm not savvy to this stuff. So the, these two guys here had chips. So I said, well, where do I get chips? Because I do have some cash. So they said, just put your cash on the table and the dealer will take it. So I, I put $20 on the table because I had cashed out of that other game. So I had a $20 bill. And so I put that on the table and the guy said, uh, I said, how I, I want to, you know, I want to play blackjack. So it was $10 a game. So I was already sitting down. I already had my money out. So I said, okay, well, give me, here's, take 10 out of the 20, which he did. Gave me, so I, I bet. Well, lo and behold, I won. So I won my 10 back and I won another 10. I got up from the table and um, I went back to my room. So then the next morning, I cashed in that $10, $10 uh, little paper ticket. I got in my car, got everything packed, we left. And so we were on our way to Palm Springs. Well, once again, it was, it was a crazy drive. I kind of got lost. It took me longer than I thought. I was sick of being in the car. Well, finally, I get home to Palm Springs. And I, I, it, I almost got back in my car and went back to Idaho because I could not believe how hot it was. And when I opened my car door, it would just hit me like a heat wave. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I got in the house and turned on the air conditioning, turned on all the ceiling fans, got all my stuff out of the car, kind of got settled down. I did not unpack, but I got water out for Shelby, got myself a cold drink, sat down to watch TV. Well, it started raining. I could hear thunder and lightning. Well, it started raining here. And it rained so hard that we have a couple uh, rainy spots in our kitchen and in our dining room, leak, leaks areas. And that after my husband built the house, so he knows our house, but we cannot seem to find, we think we have it patched. Then the next time it rains, it leaks again. Well, it, poured through the light fixtures. We have those can lights. Water just poured out of those can lights into the dining room, into the kitchen. So I got, all I had was like a Dutch oven and a turkey pot. Those are my biggest pots. Then finally I um, I went out and just threw the gar what was in my little Rubbermaid garbage, kitchen garbage can out. So I, I eventually was able to use that. I could not keep the pots and pans. I had every pot and pan I know, I used every towel I had in the house. It was a nightmare. It, I was scared. I mean, water was spewing. The dining room got slushy. Even though we have paver tiles in the dining room and in the kitchen, I have a beautiful rug underneath my dining room table, which is ruined now. And so I, um, I just panicked. I was running back and forth trying to keep these pots and pans emptied. I was sopping wet. Water was gushing from both ceilings. So um, I called my husband because misery loves company. <laughs> so 
he ended up, because he's in Idaho, I'm here, so he called a friend of his and a friend of mine to come to the house, and that friend, um, I'll call him Mr. X, came and he brought big trash can buckets, and he got up on the ceiling, or up on the roof, and he drilled holes all in the ceiling of the dining room and the kitchen, so the water, because I thought the dining room ceiling was going to cave in. And so he, he drilled holes all along the ceiling line so water could escape and not weigh that ceiling down anymore. Well, anyway, it was a mess and it lasted, the rain was horrible for, I'm gonna say at least an hour. Then it slowed down, then it stopped. But it, it, you know, that whole process took some time. So the next day, I mean, I was like, I was paralyzed. So the next day, I uh, my brother came over with his wife and they helped me do some cleanup work. We picked up that big rug that I had and because it was smelling real moldy already. And we put it outside in the backyard. We picked up all the wet towels that were sopping wet in the house, put them, threw them out in the backyard. Um, we took out the pots and pans from the um, center island where the water had all leaked and because those those um, little uh, you know places those liners where you set the drawers where you set your pots and pans were all um, you know crumbly and well anyway it was a huge mess so for like two days I think I wandered around with my robe on thinking where do I start where do I start to clean this mess up? Well, anyway, I finally got myself unpacked. I finally thought, you know, I'm going to do one thing at a time. And I collected the towels. I, I went through the silverware and organized it and washed it. And anyway, tried to make some sense out of my dining room and kitchen. So all my furniture is just pushed into the living room. And uh, my husband is he's making arrangements via telephone to have some uh to have the insurance people come over and and redo the roof line and all this business so anyway all this to say that i have not been on youtube i have not been watching youtube i have been in a frenzy getting myself uh back to normal again it's hard enough to adjust from a summer vacation and coming back into your home and like looking around and being in shock that the summer is over and a little bit sad and then to have this horrible rainstorm that leaked all over my house was really I, I was I was frantic so at any rate that's what I want <laughs> that's what I wanted to tell you guys because that's why I have not posted a video in a while and I have not been commenting, I don't think hardly at all, and I probably won't be for a while. I still have um, uh, things to do regarding the preparation. In other words, I don't have the luxury of sitting down at the computer and fiddling around with YouTube for a while. But just know that uh, I'm, I'm getting myself organized and uh, I miss you guys and I will be posting as soon as I can. So, and watching as many of you as I can, as soon as I can. So at any rate, this is Cindy and I'm back in Palm Springs. So until our next conversation, bye-bye.